pabellón lo corta la tierra. In the Mediterranean area, we see that there is a process of desertification. So we're going to have a possible increase of drought. That's something we're seeing already in Catalonia with uh, water scarcity. So that it's likely to increase and due to the lack of water and biomass accumulation because it's dead, it's not consuming water. Uh, so it's more likely to have more wildfires. What I'm studying is how the climate change is affecting wildfires frequency and how it's also changing the intensity and frequency of the wildfire. In Mediterranean areas, we know that is uh, highly susceptible to uh, de in developing the, a class of wildfires that we call it like mega wildfires and that it's possible to create a pyrocumulus a cloud of made of ashes and sparks that could travel kilometers away from the, its origin and start new wildfires. So basically my contribution to this field of study is trying to understand possible sites that could generate uh, pyrocumulus. <laughs> Before we had this concept of, of avoiding at all wildfires, but now we see that that's not possible because, well, because when you don't manage a forest, you accumulate biomass. And when, and when it happens, a wildfire, it becomes a great wildfire, a big wildfire. So the problem is not the wildfire per se, the problem is the accumulation of biomass. And so we need to manage those forests. So how can we manage those forests? In my thesis, we are coming to some conclusions, it's still developing uh, the, the, the results, but we are coming to the conclusions that in the Mediterranean area, the um, prescribed fire is not only a way to prevent big wildfires, but it's also, uh, it's, it stimulates other species to thrive after a wildfire.